Hello, my name is Ian Finley. I'm the Chair of Fine Arts at Research Triangle High School, and this is a tutorial on the use of the HOG 4PC lighting control system. Um, we just opened a black box theater. We got a, a HOG 4PC because we didn't want to get a whole big board, and we had a number of LED lights, and it controls those beautifully. But what I found is that a lot of the tutorials online uh, were very complicated. The HOG system is really powerful, has all kinds of controls that are great if you're running a concert or a worship service at church. But if you're just doing a sort of traditional theater um, lighting, uh, where you need cues uh, for scenes to scenes. Uh, I found a lot of the tutorials very complicated, so I wanted to do a, a set of simpler tutorials uh, which use a method I discovered that is actually really, I find, very streamlined, but is sort of roundabout um, from what you would see in the tutorial. So I wanted to make these videos to share that. So this just sort of starts us off. When you open HOG 4 PC, you'll see the status window here and then the command window. And if you're already doing a show, you can select the show that you're doing from um, this and then just launch it and it takes you right in and it saves everything automatically that's great um, or you can launch a new show which is what we're going to do there's also you can you know run other DMX control widgets and have things on a server this is very much a simple uh, basic intro type of uh, video so we're not going to deal with any of those advanced type of things so we're just going to launch a new show let's uh, call it um, tutorial show and then it'll go through it'll give us a virgin num version for here um, and then get us into the control as you can see there are three windows here uh, the upper left over here is where the queue list uh, which in, in the way we're going to use it that's the where the queue list usually lives over here uh, is where the actual queue window shows up it's also where we patch fixtures and here is a mock-up of the actual board as if you were using um, a, a real board so the first thing that you're always going to be doing um, is to uh, start uh, by patching the fixtures um, and to do that you're going to go to the setup key down here in the center uh, it's a little hard to see where all the keys are sometimes, but you get used to it. You're going to hit the setup key, and then that will bring up the soft keys here in this window, and you're going to click patch, and that will bring up all the patch information. So to begin, you're going to start with the fixture schedule. You always start with the fixture schedule, because that's how it knows what lights are in the air. So you're just going to let know what lights are in the air. Um, we've only got a few lights, so that'll make things pretty easy. Uh, we've got uh, a few elation. Uh, where are you guys? Elation uh, six pars. Six par two hundred. And make sure you know which is which. There are twelve, six, and eight channels. I believe ours are uh, uh, eight channels. Um, or there may be six channels. I may be, I may be wrong. I think you have to adjust it. But that was one of the main problems I ran into um, was I wasn't sure which was which. And unless you tell it the correct thing, it will, it will not uh, speak properly to the light. Uh, so make sure you know uh, which it is. And if the, um, the fixture can be set between six or eight or 12 channels, make sure that it's set to whatever you put in here in the fixture uh, the fixture fixture schedule so that we've got six of those and then after you enter the number you have to hit enter um, there's not a button you you actually hit enter I forgot to do that for several times um, and then we also have some ETC we've got two ETC um, source for uh, lusters hue saturation intensity we've got two of those and you hit enter and then you hit apply and and there you go and those are all of your your instruments and this sort of spreadsheet view is used throughout um, and we're going to get very used to it because that's also how you how you uh, write cues you can drag things around you can select multiple things um, but notice that uh, it's calling the two source fours at positions one and two but it's also calling the first of the six pars one and two so we want to change uh, those numbers. Uh, let's assume that we want to keep the source fours as number one and two, and then we want um, the six pars to be three through eight. So all you need to do is just select them, and then you come down uh, uh, here to set, click that, and then you can click three for the top box, hit enter, 
and it will put the rest in sequence 3 through 8 right below. And now when you talk about light 1, it knows that it's talking about one of those source 4s, and if you talk about light 3, it's talking about the first of those 6 bars. Um, now, of course, uh, just because it knows the number that you're calling it doesn't mean that the light knows you're talking to it. So you have to enter the addresses for the lights. Um, addressing uh, is pretty easy. You can patch them. So let's say that we're going to patch these two here. Let's select them here with these little blue boxes on the left. We're going to patch them. And you hit, I'm sorry, I should have made that clear. You come up here to patch at, click that. And it will give you the first available position. Uh, and then you click OK. And since you selected two of them, see it has patched it the first available, available position, which is one. And then all the LE, you may be dealing with regular lights uh, where they take up one address position each. But if you're dealing with LED lights, um, they're going to take up a lot of different address positions. So the next available one was 16, and the software knows that, so it has assigned it at 16. And then all you need to do is go to your instruments and uh, instrument number one. On the instrument you'd say DMX address one. There's a window where you input that and then you go over to number two on the instrument itself and it would say DMX address at and you'd put in 16 and therefore the, the machine can then talk to those instruments. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and then we can go ahead and let's uh, address all of these guys. So we've selected all of uh, our six pars. We're going to say patch at and see it's already suggesting 31 is the next available uh, patch position and we'll click OK and now they have been patched to addresses 31, 39, 47, 55, 63, and 71 and you just go around to each of your um, instruments or if, even if you were using uh, little you know uh, if, uh, uh, Edison style dimmers, um, you could still use the same software to control them. It's all just D, uh, DMX 5-pin control, and you just go to the, your little boxes, and you'd enter in the number um, for the address for each, of those, for each of those positions, and it would know how to do that. Um, that's what makes this software so versatile, uh, is that um, you can control big fancy LED lights and then very basic lights um, with a very basic dimmer system. So that is information on how to start a new show um, and how to patch the fixtures. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about actually writing the cues.